he's supposed to have at least one and a half hour for his presentation. Yeah. But maybe he's in a hurry. He's thinking that his flight will, will go now. So anyway, uh, the purpose of this uh, workshop is to get you engaged with your community. I think some of you have attended like uh, Ali and uh, Muhammad, and some of you also, I think you have attended before, right? Uh, knows that uh, the purpose of CIAS, one of the main purposes of CIAS is to get people engaged with the community. So our academic programs, our workshops, all what we do here is trying to bring people in so they start to do projects. Whether this project through us or through other partners uh, that they, they are working on the field and so on. So I think a part of the presentation to show you what is the youth engagement means. And I hope that Paul, he managed to tell you what is his uh, type of engagement for this community and uh, how much he got uh, inspired by this experience. Now he's been working on that I think in the last, uh, what, three years, four years, since yes. he started. Yes. So this is his fourth year. Uh, when we met Paul, it, his age was uh, 18 years old. Right? Am I right? Yes. Yeah. 17. 17. Yes. Okay, now he graduated and now he's doing his own business because of these projects. Okay. So we encourage all of you to really submit, if you have a project idea, to submit that, so including uh, you guys from uh, Kenya today, or we have people from India. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we encourage you, all of you that to really uh, see the, the the most important thing about this experience is that you are not only changing your community and knowing your life, you know life purposefulness, but even you are knowing yourself. Okay. So the Paul we've seen here now, which is Dr. Tony, maybe long time she didn't see him, is different than the Paul we've seen in Bahrain in 2012. Okay. So in Bahrain 2020 there was. Uh, uh, you know, I remember at the beginning of uh, Corona, uh, February, before shutdown, exactly one week before shutdown, we had a big conference. And Paul was, was one of the main speakers in the conference about his experience and so on. The same, the one he's telling you here, but now he, of course, he developed to a business uh, to be more of a, you know, uh, uh, social entrepreneurship business and so on. And we've seen many like Paul, and we have hundreds of stories like Paul. Some of them they come back and they present, some of them they become selfish and they don't come back and you know, they become like business only oriented. But the, the, I'm saying always to people, the more you engage with your community, the more you're gonna do the, the proper change. Okay, I think everybody can sit, I'll come near you later, easier for you. Okay, so uh, this is why we said the purpose uh, to present first and use uh, Paul's uh, visit so that he give you some of his life experience. About this experience, I'm not sure if he presented to you, Maybe I'll engage him more. Uh, remove this chair for okay. This experience, I don't know whether it is. Uh, uh, you've seen a challenge. Like sometimes people who are enthusiastic, they don't show us challenges. Okay. Well, in reality, they only show you success. Okay. But in reality, this uh, this experience always will be lots of challenges. What is the best for you is the challenges, not the what is the chances you have. The challenges will bring for you more chances, hidden chances, okay? There are clear chances. For example, we know that, for example, in this road, nobody, nobody is doing bakery, bakery, okay? So this road needs bakery, for example, right? Uh, this is a clear opportunity. Everyone who goes through this road or living this road, they will know that. But the chances, what type of bakery is needed more? Or what type of uh, business that I can develop in my bakery? This will not come unless you have some type of challenges and so on, okay? Or we study the challenges of the community. And this is what we are saying, uh, why we say that this workshop is very important for you. And uh, I'm not sure if there is uh, the videos that you had uh, managed to put them there. Yes. Okay. Did you show them? You did not show them yet. So we'll show the videos of some of the participants who will try to show some of the challenges. So I'm talking about his story, uh, learning and reflection from Paul Kotti's story, story and case study, capacity to be resilient. What I've seen in this guy now, and he's resilient. And by the way, if you can survive Muhammad Fuhaji Khadija, you'll be more resilient, for sure. Okay? So uh, this is something very important for you, and to become resilient through the challenges that you are facing. And for that, we'll talk about the mechanisms of your socioeconomic engagement, how we can become more socioeconomically engaged. If you notice in his story, I'm putting for you some of the pictures that he's putting. 
Okay? If you notice that he first he gone to the community. And maybe he not put some of the I take him from his presentation now. But I because I know the whole story and we present it in a detailed way. And we have it by the way written case study, which we'll share it with you. Good when you read it, Ali. So that you can write about your Nagatari experience. Because I've been saying to Isa also, write about Nagatari experience. Because the more you see, if you don't publish your story, or you don't publish it, write it down, and you reflect on it, you don't know where you have reached, okay? So for that, it's very important that you publish whatever you have done before. In the beginning, before this, is this picture, he gone first to the community. And he tried to convince, because he's not from this community, he's from other community. He tried to convince the community people, okay, that, uh, which is near, nearby community to his area, from his same, uh, you know, let's say, city, that, uh, that you need such type of project, okay? Because you are now having problems with your houses. You know, they have the elephants. I'm not sure if he told you about the elephants. They come and destroy yearly their houses. They, they, uh, they have the flood. You know, whole Assam, maybe he told you about Assam. is a, a city like Bangladesh. Every year they have flood. So many of their houses are de uh, destroyed. So they rebuild their houses. They have lots of uh, people that are dropouts. And they don't finish school, okay? And this is one of the highest places in India where they don't go to university, okay? Or we also migrate to work labor in, in big cities, okay? And uh, Paul, you can comment on that. Can, don't be busy now with the hurry. Comment if there, I missed something. So all of this needs, uh, uh, yeah, because you know, if you are outside there, how come you go to a village and work on it? Okay, so it took some time to make people, uh, you know, uh, serious about his project and so on. And then when we came, they became serious, they started to do, they collected the, all the village, uh, you know, youth, with the youth leaders, and you know, in certain uh, communities, I'm sure even in, in uh, your communities here, and your, uh, the different religions, uh, Christian and Muslims, okay, you have to take the blessing of the village leaders or the elders people and so on. And this is what he did, he brought the elder people to the, you know, to the place where they are starting their project, where they will set their hearts, or you know the, what they did, you know, he showed you the hut they did for which is like a the manufacturing plant, the small manufacturing plant, okay. And from there they started, okay. So see, first, uh, uh, first of all, that he was very curious after he started to know, understand, and this is what we say. What happened to the mindset? Okay, what we say, Ali, in a mindset is made from four things, okay. He said assumptions, okay. What we as assume of life. So mindset is like, you know, the glass we see the world. You, you see me now, you said I am fat, what are you seeing you know, in me? Okay, this is, it's a mindset, okay? So everybody will see someone different to mindset, okay? Number one is the assumption. Number two is the attitude. Number two is the attitude. And number three is the behaviors. And number four is the way we reflect or react to life. And everyone can shake up his, uh, his uh, mindset. But uh, if we continue to do routine life, we go to school, we finish from school, we go to university, or we go to work, and so on, and we don't go through those challenges, our mindset, what will happen to it? Will it change? No, it will be stuck, right? And this is what has uh, happened to me. Because I started to get many challenges, at age 45, I started to change. And then for that, I believe, now, I, this is a message I want to give to the whole world. And you can change your mindset. You can do something different. You can influence the world. You can make something that extraordinary, that nobody is doing, okay? This happens only through engagement, okay? Now, these days, even I feel that I'm not engaged because I'm busy with academic things and so on. But for sure, one of the purpose that we are going academic, and not to be busy with academic uh, only uh, work, but to use it for getting engaged with the community. And this is our main purpose uh, for that. So uh, if you start to have a first, because your mindset, when it starts shake up, it will create curiosity one, curiosity two, curiosity three. You'll be more curious. Okay, what can I do next? What can I do next? This every day, you, this guy, you write to, to me, especially in the beginning. What can I do now? What are you? Okay, because he knows something. Okay, I don't give him the idea because he's in the field. Okay, we say always the expert, the guy in the field, not the expert who's sitting and knowing from his knowledge. So you'll be the expert more than anybody else in your problem. But it will help you to visualize what you want to do. What you, how much you want this community to be, 
success story. And this is what he written about when he seen that visualization became true last year. Then he, uh, we, we talk about observing, observing. We start to observe in a different way. Then we start to absorb. Okay? You know, you observe, but you, if you don't absorb, you will not have the mindset again change. And then he started to apply. And he, then he started to analyze and evaluate, which is the case study, like in return and so on. And he's writing now his second case study. He went to write a book now. And he came only this week and he didn't go outside, huh? Like other people will go to the gorilla, they'll go to see the museums. Like he sit here just to get focus and to get, you know, the, the energy that he do, you know, he reflect on his experience and to see how he can contribute more to the next stages. And then he can, you know, when you create something, you can reflect on it better. Because the reflection can be in the beginning and can be also in the end. So this is something that is, I think is very important that I, I'm not sure, uh, Harrow, if you can show them the slides. Yani, even when I'm talking, it's good that they, see, they try to see the slides. You can send them the slide later, but at least, okay, maybe you can turn this a little bit up. Like this. Okay, so, uh, and for that I say here, at this stage, you have to put the intention. What do you want to do in, your, in this community? Or what do you want to leave as a legacy? Okay? Very important, the intention. Okay? Are you really just uh, playing with your time and yeah, you're playing with the community or really you, are, you want to do something for the community? Are you trying to be, get to just uh, be recognized from people or you are trying to, uh, you know, get uh, really the community uh, more... Uh, uh, okay. Let that be. Okay. So again, for that, I think he told you about that problems for us in, in uh, CIAS and socioeconomic uh, problem solving for us is all about opportunities. Okay? The problem bring for you opportunities. The problem does not mean it's bad. Problem sometimes it's God given so that you discover more. But they have to work very hard for it. It's not uh, easy. Uh, it's not an uh, easy going thing. Okay? You have to work very hard for it. And you'll see that in his story, starting from here, that he was available from the first time with his community. His availability was high. Okay? As a person, he became engaged. He lived in that village. Okay? He lived like them. He started to work with them. Okay? He felt that, uh, you know, their feeling and so on, which is the, the dropout students. These are all dropouts. Okay? But he felt that he can build inside them something new, so a passion. At that time, even they didn't have the skill. Am I right, Paul? Yes, sir. He, we, we brought some people so that they can help them to build a skill, which is what? About the bamboo. What is he found? There is opportunity. There is poverty, dropouts, village un unstable, unstable. They are always uh, leaving their village and uh, they are migrating to work as labor. So they are not getting even enough money. Okay. At the same time, they are clever and they can be molded to be a craftsman. So <coughs> he started uh, to use what? The other uh, natural resource, which was what? Which was what? Because of his... Huh? No. If you don't know, then you have to repeat his presentation. Available resources. What is the available resource in, in uh, Assam? Bamboo. Bamboo. Okay. Okay, so the bamboo is uh, a lot there in that, in that area. Because they are near the river and so on. So for that, I'll always say, once you get engaged, you have to disrupt the uh, community's norms. What is the community norm? And because we are poor, our, some families, they used to encourage their uh, children to go and migrate, to work as labor, so that they can send them that small money. And instead of having their, their children or you to st stay where? In the area, use the natural resources of the area, and they become more productive. So this is one of the, uh, maybe, reflection on this story. I'm trying to help you, Ajahn later we'll get exercise. So try to write these notes. From now on, this will be like the yoke. The content of your exercise at the end of the day. Okay, we can improve also uh, as youth upon existing socio-economic solutions. We see what is the solution today. Solution: youth migrating. This family they get uh, ready for the, you know, uh, for the elephant they put guards, right? When we go there, you remember Paul? They put guards and they put people there to guard them because at night elephants might come or early morning they come and destroy their village. Okay, but this was not the only solution. They wanted more unity of the community, so they started a common project. 
Every family was involved. Now the bamboo, what is the bamboo happening? I'm not sure if you go into this detail. But the bamboo brought with it. Can you get me this one? Oh, or anyone over there? Okay, or give me another one. So the bamboo brought with it. Okay. The bamboo is this is it this way? Uh, this one? Yes, yes. So the bamboo uh, brought with it what? Brought with it the uh, that the village became the village became a, a place where uh, what is it? Uh, tourists will come. Okay. So he turned. Maybe he showed you the picture. Okay. Uh, because they are near the river. The river is nice and so on. He turned the village to be because of the bamboo. Because of the village involvement uh, of the of the houses, you know, the, uh, the household people, it became an eco village. So during Corona, even though you know most of India nobody was traveling, this village used to start to get people because people wanted to go out at least somewhere where there's not a lot of crowd. Okay. So see, some opportunity bring for you another opportunity always, and help you to see things in different ways. So also, uh, from one of the things when you get engaged, you identify successful business models. Now his business model is unique, okay, not easily copied. He took something that now it's like a brand. Maybe he not showed you. You can bring it. The one he brought in the library. He's now is yeah, very popular in India in this brand. Okay. He he made he made other things, but he must, mostly he made the same the same way. Most people they are buying from how many how much you sold from that. 2000 already sold with good prices. Okay. And people are, even the people are waiting for this order. Okay, very simple product. But why? He started with this branding first. He was building his brand with this type of, uh, of a product and so on. So he identified his business model. So this is it. This is one of the things they put. You know, this is like uh, ancient Indian uh, palaces. Okay. And they are putting it, many people are ordering it. See, very simple, huh? Product. Yes. But it is a brand, you, you see it in uh, many uh, uh, companies are ordering. And he started also the water bottle from uh, again bam bamboo. Of course, inside there is uh, stainless steel. Okay. But this is an example of products. Maybe I'm not sure if they are seeing it, guys. So this is like he started to do the same products in the beginning. Okay? But why? Because he wants to raise the. the Craftsmen uh, caliber. When they do many products, they have not uh, built their caliber very quickly. But when they start to do different, uh, similar products in the beginning, uh, with a certain brand, so now they are very popular. Uh, what's the name of the cottage? Weaver's Cottage. Huh? Weaver's Cottage. Uh, Weaver's Cottage. Yes, okay. they started making Yes. Yeah. Weaver's, you know Weaver. Weaver's, they, they are Weaver. Now, he started <coughs> to bring other products with it. With it. I mean, in this product, you will find it, I, maybe you've seen it in this picture. We put with it the silk, because silk of Assam is very, very popular. You know, they have, the Assam is what is popular about tea, silk, uh, bamboo, okay, and the nature and the beauty, right? This is our four, four main things. Did I forget anything else? So, uh, you identify the business model, and he started to put his product, and then, it increases your capacity to introduce innovative products. Now they are thinking about different things. They've been telling me yesterday that they are thinking about many different products that they want to produce and so on. Okay. And remember, see, the more people they get engaged with their community, they start start to see the other resources. What re what type of resources that we have? Forget about money. What type of resources we have? All of us. And I'm telling you, if someone if someone have money. He can't see this resources. They always think he can buy things with money. But what type of resources we have? In your village, what you have? What resources you have? Natural resources. Natural resources, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'll bet it is much better than Bahrain or the Gulf, right? Yes. Much right. natural, okay? And sometimes he goes, he get homesick, he wants to go there, okay? Then the nature, nature, he left the nature. He likes nature, no? Sitting in a cement like uh, place, he got fed up. Okay, so natural resources, what else we have, Khadija? Yes. Phys physical resources, yes. okay. We have also the human capital resources, right? Yeah, sometimes now, what he used now? He used the natural resources, which is what? Bamboo. Bamboo, okay, and the, and the silk, 
Alice. Yes. And then he used uh, human capital, which is unemployed uh, and uh, dropout youth, right? And he used that physical resources, which is uh, also very important. Okay, and then like Dr. Dunya is saying, which is very important, is the social assets. Okay, what is the social assets? He brought the community together. Because now it is a community uh, driven, uh, because they want their children not to migrate, they want to make profit because they started also to start to get what? Tourists to the community. It became uh, like he became you now uh, very popular in uh, Assam. And you know, he's been in TV. You told them about your TV interview yes. and so on. Yeah. But, but, uh, became very popular. Always they have an interview with him and so on. Because they want to. Uh, Assam is very rich uh, land. But you know, people are driven almost to capital cities, Bombay Mount, and, uh, uh, and uh, Delhi and so on. So what he did actually, he used even the capital resources, as I said, the human capital resources, to see the end-type solutions. What are the opportunities other than the bamboo? How we can mix the bamboo with the silk? Okay, and he started to put it in a packaging, and he said, you know, you buy bamboo, for example, like this, but he will put for you like a small silk wrap. He brought some things for Khadija, for uh, uh, dunya for uh, the, the guys also, and then he uh, this he, he used the intrinsic opportunities inside the community in order to bring better posit positive outcome and uh, raise you know both the financial return and and he actually he moved outside the village but still they are uh, working with the village right am I right yes yeah. <coughs> so this is again something that's very important that we we think about try to show them this again. Uh, so why we need to be get, get engaged also? To focus on a specific under, underserved community. What is the underserved community for this in case, this case study? Both the dropout youth and the village. The village is not stable. They have challenges. Yes. Okay, they used to only have fishing. Barely they have fishing. They sell most of the fish. Even this one of the projects that we just said we'll do. Okay, because mostly they said they live by day by day, and I'm sure there is in Rwanda and Africa many community like this. They live day by day. They can't, they can't see tomorrow. They can see only today how they survive today. Okay, and then also he started to inspire narrow target audience of the community, which is the village. Okay, the village, the, the parents of these uh, dropouts. They, he's very close to them. Am I right? Huh? Yes. He's going to their houses, living like their life, and so on. Okay, so that he started to get the feeling of that. And then he started to uh, produce uh, something that is help the community, it is a low, low cost. Well, uh, he, for that he said it, um, and compared to the product type, he said it in very competitive price. And for that, he's, ma and he's uh, making now a new uh, movement for another product and so on. So we can, what we can learn from Paul's story is that he reacted, he realized what is the problem. He started to resolve the problem in the beginning, he used to be maybe dependent on me or something, some ideas. Then he started to be independent. And then he started to reshape his business. And he became more resilient. With what we've seen, Dr. Adunia, because not seen him for a long time, because every day he talked to me in the WhatsApp, I, I know him, I know how much he developed. But Dr. Adunia, a long time, did not compete with him. He's seen major change in Paul, identity, his way of thinking, what he wants to do. And uh, actually, yesterday, Khadija missed that presentation. But yesterday, even his presentation to us here, about Siyas and so on, was very impressive, okay? Because, uh, he started to be proactive, uh, he, he preparing himself always, uh, started to be problem solver, and he wanted to publish. Yani before, like I'm doing right now with Isa, pushing, 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 till he published his first case study, uh, he didn't, uh, he was resistant, yani. Oh no, later, very difficult, then, uh, he write two words and he stopped and so on. Now he's encouraged to do a book, not only a paper, while doing a paper. So this is something that is uh, normal when we see it in, in, in youth, and as I told you, we see hundreds of youth like this. So engagement with the community will help you to know what to bring inspiring features to your product and to the community. The more you get engaged. And we know from his story now, is that he can, you know, if people, if, with this brand and with this type of business, he can open now new business. Once you go into business, and you know that the community is your strength, you can open new business in different ways. So the more you observe your community problems, the more you pay attention to the type of problem and you work on it, and if you start preparing to bring solutions, the more you'll bring really, you raise your capacity to manage risk. 
So you like to go into rest. What's happening to most of us? I know that Ali is a teacher. If, going, if you are going to a job and always you are known, at the end of the month you're going to receive this, this thing, you are not a risk taker. Even though your job may be risky, even if you are in a healthcare or even if you are working with electricity or something, you might يعني, get, get killed anytime. Okay? But you are not a risk taker. Risk taker means that you go to a new business every time, but helping other people so that you can help them to bring a new product and so on. So I believe you know, to become those leaders like these ones, and I'm sure that these, not, not only for all these, his team is uh, becoming youth leaders, am I right? Yes. Okay. Uh, they are, uh, because they are engaged now with uh, bringing new venture, they are building their personal interest, they know self value, life purposefulness, they are creating now for them uh, really a, a, a lifetime story. At the end of the, this uh, small workshop, and it will take, as I said, exercise, uh, it's not easy to go from dependent mindset. We remember, what is the mindset now, Ali? What are the mindset? Yes. Yeah, attitude number two. Number one? Assumptions. 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 Attitude. Behavior. Yeah. Reactions. Reactions. Okay. Because when, you, when you, we assume something, it's like paradigm. Assume means, plus we see that something will happen to us if we do so, so, so. This will be news to it from the we are since we are young. So we make judgment always like this. Okay? So it will affect our attitude. And usually our attitude control our behavior. And our behavior control our reactions. Okay? So if you want to be moving from this problem, you have to move from, from uh, this type to, to this type by pain. And this pain, either it is gained by choice, like he did. He had the choice. He took us to Assam. He wanted to convince us. He saw us in, in different areas in uh, India. And he convinced us, me and Dr. Dunya, to come to Assam to just start this project. And then he gone through a pain. When you work with us, it's not an easy job. Why? Because we don't give uh, enough money. We tell you work hard for it so that you can create the change, so that you can see the power within you. Okay? Not, uh, you know, from, uh, from upper other people outside. We are not in your work. We are trying to help people to change. If you notice, the, 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 uh, this is the scan of the brain. I'm not sure uh, if I was just changing there. Uh, let it see there. If you notice here, this is a scan of the brain. See the pain areas? If you notice here the down ones, they are the same one as the here, right? This is the person with the pain, the same person, when he was given something about his parents or his children and how much he reacted to that. <coughs> if you notice, the pain area is similar to the empathy areas. Okay, so if you want to be empathetic person, you are really want to be, be something that you can see others that cannot see. Empathy people, they can see say, things before others. Okay, always I give example. If my father wanted the water, I would give him this water before he asked me. This is called empathy. Okay, or my child or something like this, right? <coughs> or someone I love. So this is very important that we, we think that, that this will come only from engagement. The more you engagement and you go to empathy, the more you will see the end type opportunities. Okay, and he didn't come here and pay all this time, the, the ticket and so on, just for uh, by coincidence. Okay, he liked me, he's like my son, but also he came to improve himself and to see the opportunities. So my exercise for you, the fact now, in uh, working and engaging in community development, okay, engaging means you're trying to do the change, you are leading the change in your community, it will bring for you lots of opportunities, and these opportunities cannot be discovered unless we start to uh, see the facts in different ways and try to see the combined the community issue. What Paul story in, in, in a short, it is a community issue. Okay, so I have a community issue. Okay, a community issue. What is the community issue for uh, for uh, uh, Siba Saga or for uh, for uh, Darker? What's the name of the village? Dinkalkar. Dean Karkar, what's uh, the problem issue? We talk about income, education, employment, uh, uh, Let me say uh, in summary, unstable community, uh, youth uh, migrate, uh, youth robots. Like in summary, okay? So this community issue, and then he started to link it to what are the community what resources, okay? From this he brought his products. 
So the product you are seeing now, which is the Weaver's Cottage, okay, is, is what? It's a combination, it's a product of the community issue and the natural resources and the human capital and the physical resources and the time. The time also is a resource. The time he's given, okay, day and night, sacrificing his time. Any other people, maybe other graduates, they will go and work with other uh, uh, communities. Okay, I think it's fine. It's fine. Okay, but uh, maybe uh, he no, he or I mean he go and work with with uh, companies or something, a stable job. But for him, no, he chosen to be, uh, you know, uh, with that community so that he specialize on them. And now he becomes social entrepreneur, well known in India for his uh, pro uh, his project that he changed the village. See, he changed only a village. But now he knows that he can change the world. Okay? The way that he talked to us yesterday, and I'm not sure, I did not attend his uh, lecture today, but I'm sure it is uh, inspiring also. The way, you know, Paul, I told him yesterday, I was telling him, that I know Paul now in four stages. It's very important for you, Khadija, since you are the team leader. Okay? I know, I've seen Paul, the time that he did for us, uh, the, conf uh, the forum, in uh, Goa. Goa. Okay, he was given the responsibility from other people, and they thrown all the responsibility on him. So his uh, friends, who were supposed to be the organizer for us, they thrown everything and they gone away. He became responsible for that. But this shock, he used it for an opportunity. What is the opportunity? And you've seen Paul to, uh, yes, at that time, I can tell you, and you like you not believe me. He said, don't believe me that one. I don't have, I couldn't say two words in front of audience. Okay, so, uh, Paul was worse than that. He couldn't say even one word in front of him. He will talk, he will work very hard, but he don't want to talk. Okay, then uh, at the second stage, we've seen Paul when he started to take his project and this community. Pro uh, no, sorry, he taken us to Assam. The third stage when he started his project. The fourth stage when he when he did the uh, his case study. The fifth stage when he did the uh, entrepreneurship program. And now today I can see another one. So see, this is in short, short years. Uh, this is, a, by the way, a lifetime story. It's happened only in three to four years. And so you can imagine how much uh, uh, you can do in, in your, in your uh, lifetime if you think like this way and you work very hard on this. So what I want from you, uh, I think in a group of two, Hashem, we don't move you from any place. Okay, take a community issue, well, as I said here, okay? And uh, take the type of resources. What type of resources we said? Can you write it down? I'll, I'll repeat it again. Victor Dunya said about what? Social, social, social resources. Assets. Social assets. Means what? <coughs> Means, uh, how, come the, how we can use the community network, right? Or village network, or the family's network in a certain way. Okay? Or maybe uh, like a, a group network. Maybe unemployed youth or uh, someone, any, or, or children, whatever, or friends, whatever. Okay, so social assets. Then he, we spoke about? Physical resources. Physical, physical resources, which means what? Capacity, people willing to learn, willing to put their hands, willing to give you time. Then we talked about? Human capital resources. Human capital resources, okay, which is very important, because they are the most costly sometimes, especially in craft work and, or any other work. Okay, it doesn't have to be a similar project, by the way. And then? Natural resources. Natural resources. We can, we can use this relevant to a community and we turn the, the problem to be what? What we said? Opportunity. Yes. Okay. So let's take this now in uh, just uh, uh, 10 minutes. Get me a, a story. Same for you guys. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, how do I bring this again here? <coughs> so I, what I want from you as exercise, guys, who's watching us. What is the community issue that you want to take? And then focus on these four resources that we've spoken about. The physical resources, the human capital resources, the social <coughs> resources, and the physical resources. Okay. Physical, natural, social, human capital. If you have a question, you can ask me. It's about 10 minutes. They have question. How uh, do yeah. You prepared your videos, huh? Mm -hmm. Your videos, yes. Yes. even the big one, the, one. the participants.
Mm. Do you have a question, Erwan? Uh, 
Okay, guys, shall we okay now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, shall we start with Mohammed? Yes. You are ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Her one. Please bring it there to the near. Remove this, uh, Isa. Or uh, fix it. Let's just be sure, Mohammed. Okay, go ahead, brother. All right, thank you. Uh, and by the way, this is my second time to attend this workshop. Uh, I was here on seventh day of July mm -hmm. this year and uh, the reason why I come again is because for my first time I learned a lot of things yeah, yeah uh, English is good by the way thank you compared to Isa or to Rwanda <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much you are not speaking uh, English you know what English? French, French and English yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, I was born in the western province uh, of Rwanda and raised there uh, in a small village there. The name? Uh, it is called uh, Hira. Hira? Yes. And uh, it is um, a small village. And, you know, in Rwanda, uh, since 1990s, uh, up to uh, 2000, uh, there was wars in Rwanda. Mm. Uh, there was uh, liberation war, uh, there was uh, genocide against the Tutsi, 1994. Uh, and after that, 1997, there was another war between the soldiers who were in the former government mm. and the one we have now. Mm. Uh, but uh, the war started maybe in 1990s uh, up to 1000. In that time, there was no schooling. No? No, no schooling, no, no studying. School, no yeah. School, okay. yeah. Yeah. This caused a problem of so many people who are not attending school mm -hmm. in a period of more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. Then, after that, there were many people who can't read, who can't maybe communicate, who can not uh, even write. Mm. Then, what I can call as an opportunity mm. is that so many people need to know how to write, need to know how to read, and it should be better when uh, scheduled a plan for them to start learning how to write, to read, even though they are adults. So today there are uh, people uh, that do not go to schooling, or this is the old generation? No, even now. Ah, so even there is not now. enough schooling yet? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. And I think many in dropouts, maybe, right? Yeah, of course. So they have the of course. majority dropouts, so they don't yeah, continue. Yeah. 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 So, um, so this uh, is a community issue? This is a community Especially issue. Especially in the Eastern Bronx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what is the 
uh, what is are the resources that you that they have there? Uh, the, the human capital? <coughs> yeah, the human capital. Well, what, what is the human capital for your story? Uh, I think uh, we can use like skills because me is the one who is saying this. Uh, I'm a graduate. Yes. Uh, but You're a graduate teacher? Like you do, I don't know. No, no, in political science. Political science? Yes. Okay. Administrative okay. sciences. Okay. Then uh, I don't know how I can uh, resolve this problem, mm. but I think when some scores are beat mm. for those generation mm. and start uh, encouraging them to join them, maybe can resolve this problem. Okay. I, I saw you. You know that the, this is the community issue. Yeah. But first of all, you, did, you know that you are one of the human capital that can be used for that issue. Yeah. But what, uh, let us help you now, and then we'll sit down with you. Today okay. we'll not go without we agreeing on something. Okay? Yeah. Either we take a project or we study the project. Okay. Uh, we, I want to work with you. Okay. okay. On that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. But and remember, we are not NGO. We are private. Yeah. So we need something like Paul's project. Yeah. Social for profit. Yeah. Which means that you make profit, you live on it. Yeah. At the same time, also you return our money and maybe make uh, even profit for us. I'm sorry. Not necessarily big profit, but at least, or you open with it another project. Yeah. And you are not profit oriented, yeah. but you want to show people, and uh, they sh it shouldn't be one way. Yeah. And for that, I cha change our uh, initiative from working with uh, the Qatari as an NGO yeah. to working you now as a private entity and social for profit only. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank Very you. good. But uh, let us help you, Dr. Adun. There are other resources. East, you heard the story, right? Hamas story. Uh, Eastern province, uh, because they had a war in 1997, there is still uh, a problem that uh, people, they don't go to school. Okay? Uh, so this is the problem. The natural resource that we know, for example, people like Muhammad, maybe he created a team, okay? And they're like a small company that they will be uh, doing a project with these people. How the, uh, what are the other uh, assets or resources? Physical, human capital, other human capital, natural resources. For example, mm -hmm. what thing that we were talking about today, and one of the main uh, resources that you have here, that people are, uh, are faithful. They believe in religion, either Christian or Muslim. But you have, and, and this is an asset that lots of the world are missing this. So, for example, normally we say, even in previously, or not all our education comes from school. Lots of education comes from the religion, religious institutions, uh, church, mosque, uh, temple, and different countries can be different uh, places. But this is a really asset that lots of the world nowadays, they are not utilizing it. While if we go back to the history, they were like the main hub of education and how they were using. So one of the resources is to cooperate with these uh, religious institutions because they have the power, they have the network, they can help in uh, teaching, they can have lots of resources as well. You don't want to make it a logistic thing that so there's a conflict or there's more than one. I don't know exactly the village, but if it's all mostly uh, one or two religion and they don't have this religion conflict, it's something you can build it at. I mean... Uh, use as a resource. But you still, use as a resource, yes. But still for social for profit then. Yeah, yeah. Not an NGO. Yeah. Yes, I'm talking about the social profit, but I can, I'm can. i saying that he can utilize this in mm -hmm. building the social profit. Now, the first thing when you want to do social profit, you need to know all your assets there. You know what are the, what we call it is the problem that you are going to turn to opportunities. And what are all the resources you have? You have natural resources, you have these youth, okay? If they are not going to education, that means they are having lots of time. So look at it in the other way, that you are having plenty of time. You are having the youth who have the time, you are having something that they are believe, they believe in. It's the religious, uh, I don't know if I'm correct. I don't mean what I'm saying is correct, but I'm telling you some of it. Then maybe you have these, uh, some of the elders who have some wisdom, and then you know the need 
of this uh, village. If it's, for example, in education, you can do something that one of people who are educating starts to give uh, teaching others, doing something. So here where you need to think or we need to know more about your village. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anybody want to uh, any, uh, contribute? Or Khadija? Or Aisa? Okay, thank you. Uh, I see how you're saying that <coughs> Muhammad, you have been saying that you, uh, that is the main program we all create is recent. But uh, I would like also, you need to make a research on it. Like, as you know, we, uh, the way you have said that you have been experiencing this effect of genocide. But right now, we don't have those people who are still affecting about those, uh, those parts of the genocide. The only people that is, that have been facing that, pro that, that effect was their mother, if I, if I can say that way. Their mother have faced that uh, being the genocide or being the orphan. But their children, you need to know why these children not going to school. Is it because they are, their mother are still having that memory of genocide? Or is it because they are having a problem of uh, like uh, uh, getting the school fees? We need to know about that. So like we need to make very good research about it so that we know where can where where are we going, how are we going to solve the problem. Yeah. Okay, I think Ali Hadi just adding for us and that the mother can play also part of the human capital. Okay. Or a source of uh, let's say uh, support. Okay. So that's uh, I'm trying to show you here a case study for uh, one of our projects in Nana, where uh, this guy, I hope now I can see it here, yeah, I get it. Okay, well this guy, he's uh, started social for profit for uh, solving his community health problem, Ahmed. Okay? Uh, and he's, uh, you know, he's not, uh, uh, any, the religion again is completely same as you, and they are from different religions and so on. Okay, so anyway, I, it is here somewhere. I, I, need, I need to show it later, maybe if I can get it. Okay, so the, uh, his uh, service for this community is the following. Okay, uh, number one is that he start. Uh, he is a, a nurse. Okay, what is that? so he's a nurse. Okay, and he's not even the uh, doctor. Okay, and he collected different uh, uh, people who have the basic uh, nursing and medical skills. Okay, this is in the beginning. So this is the human capital. What is the community issue? The community issue it is in uh, uh, northern of Ghana, and it is a village that is uh, very far from any hospital or any medical center. So many people are dying because of hygiene, okay? okay. Or maybe sometimes the bite of insects, like, uh, or even uh, animals, like uh, snakes and so on, okay? So this is again emergency, okay? Or many uh, people are losing their children, uh, the, I mean, the, the mother, when she tries to deliver, she, uh, her, her uh, child died, okay? Because either of poor, poor hygiene or poor, you know, health healthcare before and so on. So he given total service for this issues, and he asked the community, and this is something good. I think uh, yesterday we were celebrating that, no, in, uh, in Rwanda, which is giving, right, showing the, the giving or whatever. He asked the community, and they part, they give him five percent only, okay, of their uh, whatever left, yeah, whatever uh, uh, you know the, he can they can get from from their product. As a participation, so if the if the income is low, he will be having a low income. But he gives them round the year services relevant to this area. Okay. Nobody think that this way he will make a money, right? But you can see when you go to his medical center. I try to show you later. Okay, it's as easy as my laptop. Uh, that he brought uh, 
uh, ambulance, uh, for, you know, with bikes, bike ambulance, very well, very well designed bike ambulance. Uh, he uh, started to have big medical center. He started to collaborate with different hospitals. So he paid the hospitals yeah. or the doctors and so on. Yeah. So even though sometimes you don't see the see this is a, this is what he he started, but this is only a small opportunity. But all the community became a member. It's like insurance, yeah. Okay, type of insurance. And all the community, uh, you know, are committed for the continuous of this project. He said sometime he had a problem, and uh, because he had some financial problem, they supported him. They collected money to support him. So this is the way where, and this, this guy, if you talk, see him when he talk, I'm sure. I'll try to get you his uh, video, inshallah, when Paul, he show you his videos. Uh, how much he's passionate about what he's doing. This is a true leader that is changing the world, even though he's working in a small village. Okay? Because the whole village respects him. The whole village knows in how many uh, children he has saved life. And how many people he has also you know, helped to uh, improve their quality of life. Because, you know, poor hygiene and so on. Like the same thing was for when, when people they can't read and write. It's like a normal, you know, like, you know, even though they are humans, but uh, frankly, they are living like animals. Because they can't communicate with people properly. See, people succeed or thrive or die even if they are living in life if they don't have two things. They, have no, they, they don't have uh, communication and they don't have a better way to live a quality of life. Right? So communication is very important. And the most important tool in, in education is what? Communication. It is the tool for communicating with others. Okay. So I think what is it? your project has very potential, but you have to think this way. Even though we will participate maybe with you in the beginning, but it's not for charity, it's for making, uh, making you to start a business cycle of profit, inshallah. Okay. But you have to think about this, the, you know, the, the natural resources and the social assets, like Dunya was saying as well. These are all available. So he now even his social asset is stronger than whatever a product is. The product is the physical asset, right? Or the natural asset. They're gonna give him, yeah. okay. But see, the the support of the community itself is, uh, and now he trained many people, volunteers, which is they if he can't reach sometime because he have too much demand, he have about twelve uh, motorcycles. You see it later in that. But he said too much demand on him, so then he trained people also to how much, and he do always training for. So you also part of your work, and then you bring people who support you which is volunteer. Social profit, by the way, is a connection between NGO and profit. Uh, entrepreneurs. This is what the social profit is about. Okay. Thank you, Mohammed. Okay, let's take maybe, uh, do we have the guys there in the, uh, Herwa? Do we have the guys there in uh, here at the Zoom? Uh, they have a, a project they want to talk about? Yeah, they typed, so. Can you ask? Before we take care. Rather, if anyone can uh, talk, maybe you can raise your hand or something. Possible. Okay, then you can uh, tell me later. Okay. Then let's take another project. Uh, 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 Ali? Yes. Mm. So, we have... I'm you still uh, saying, uh, calling you Jum'a. Huh? I, 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 I either you change your name or you change my mindset. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, thank you. So, most of you have chosen poverty as a community issue. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Most of you in Africa, you found some families that spend even a day not seeing something to put on the table to eat. So poverty is most a community issue in Rwanda, okay. especially in our sector level. Okay. So poverty as a community issue, we have just used four types of resources or four kinds of resources to solve or to come with the solution to this community issue. Mm -hmm. now, what type of poverty? Poverty. poverty is very big uh, subject. Absolute poverty. Huh? Absolute, Absolute poverty. Yes. Okay. As you said, that people cannot have managed to put two meals on their yes. table. Okay. okay. Absolute poverty. In where? It has to be again. In where? In which area? Near Niboy sector. Niboy. Yes. Here in this village. Yes. Uh, okay. 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 I didn't imagine that we have uh, Nepal uh, people uh, absolute poverty, but uh, maybe in the front of us, maybe. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Okay. For okay. natural resources, we have land. Okay. And by the way, here I have to stop. And Khadija, it will be ashamed on you and us if we don't do 
what we use, always tell the university means Dr. Dunya. Mm. When we go to universities, what we, what we say, Dr. Dunya? Can you take her, uh, her work? Just a minute. We always say that we can't solve the problem and write research for other area. The neighborhood of solving the problem. Yeah. So if we are talking about the poverty and uh, other areas, Rwanda, and we are not talking, not tackling the social economic issue of the neighborhood of the university, which is the closest, that's me, we are not doing the proper things. We are doing research, but we are not doing any applied things for the research. <laughs> okay. Can I ask you this Yes, but did you get the point first before you ask? Yes, I get it. Yes. 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 Yes.
the availability of no boy in the middle of Kigali. You can reach the airport in 10 minutes, you can... How can I use that? What type of products is needed for these tourist areas? Or areas where there are a lot of students, for example? This is something that we need to think about. Right? Yes. So this is where we, again, uh, very good, we've chosen how much you are engaged with your community. Can we take you, Herwa, and brother uh, yeah. Ernim? Um, before you can go, we take one more. We take one more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe let her roll out his hand is up. Oh? Yeah. Ask him. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay, can... You can ask for me what he's asking. <coughs> or can talk, can we hear them? Yeah, he can talk. Do you want to talk or write? Yeah, his hand is up, so... Okay, go ahead. Robert. Robert? Hello? Yes, Robert. Hey. We can hear you, yes. Go ahead. Hello? We can hear you, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. I, I need also... I'm one of... I'm one of the refugees in Uganda. Okay, so you are talking now from uh, from uh, Uganda? Uh, in Uganda, yes. Okay. I'm a refugee in Uganda. Okay. Living in Rhino Camp. Okay. Yes. So um, we we have a project which is uh, to empower women in in the community on microfinance and the livelihood programs to tackle hunger. Okay. So this has been one of uh, this has been one of the challenges. Again, I will repeat your project, I hear guys, they listen to you. Your, your project, you are focusing on the women, to empower the women yes. by, by financing them. Yeah, it's financing and, and tackling hunger. Okay, financing them uh, to tackle hunger. Yes. So they uh, work, for example, in food-related products. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Right. They are resources, yes. So they do not even know that there are some local resources that can be used. So we empower them to identify some of their local resources. And um, now the issue here is the microfinance issue becomes the challenge on how they can save their little resources. So little resources have been misused, thinking that they need bigger resources. And yet the little resources Are these people, uh, okay, I repeat for you what he's saying, did you hear? I repeat what he's saying, just a minute report. He's saying that they are financing women, okay? Tanya, report. They are financing women, and they are financing them especially for the food-related products, in order to tackle hunger, okay? Uh, but uh, they notice, and they have still problem, and even though there's many people, and this happened to us, my brother, Robert, happened to us him. Many people think that we are not giving enough money, well, even though we are not financing. We are trying to do community change so that we can uh, yani study about what type of best changes. This one type of a group of women, they need more money. They believe that the money is given is not enough. Second type is that they, they are misusing the money, okay? which is again happened to us in all the, our projects. So what's your question, Robert? That's a clear question. Okay, I, I got your question. It's a clear question, and this is one of the things we are trying to improve over time. Okay? Yani you don't get lucky to have po many poor. Yani we, we had uh, more than 100 persons like poor, which is a, sto a story 
in Assam and so on. In different areas, especially here in the in African continent. Okay? But we didn't have honest people like Paul to come back, to tell about his story. Even they didn't give us their story. They took the money, maybe they became successful. I was saying, uh, hinting about that in the beginning. But they never came back to us to even to, to share their stories and so on. What we did now, in the last three years, and we are trying to improve now through social for a profit, and we do a strong follow-up, okay? No payment will be given unless we see the outcome of uh, the previous payment, okay? And uh, this is what even Paul yesterday was talking about in his uh, workshop to us, and the importance of the follow-up. Okay, Paul happened to be, and he's interested, so he follow up with me, more than I follow up with him. But I know that people who used to follow up with them, just vir virtually, it's not enough. You have to have a physical follow up. And uh, the person, see, poverty uh, is not uh, less a problem than uh, uh, even uh, people with wealth. But poverty, the problem with poverty in the people, the psychologically, they are used to think of uh, shortcuts. They think that whatever they get money, this is, uh, you know, it's, uh, they can become, uh, let's say, uh, they can run away with it or they can abuse it or something like this. Not because of them, not because people are bad. Nobody is bad, by the way. The environment makes people bad, okay? And we should have support to help them. And our way is uh, the way, our way, improving our way is the only solution, not to improving them. Proving our way of following up them because we want to help them to first think about their wealth, not about their poverty. And this is something I'll just give you an example of one of the studies that has been done. Uh, I was telling them, and we use it a lot, uh, that uh, poor people we were given envelopes in the beginning to collect money. Okay? Because, you know, poor people, most of the people they live for the day, they, they never collect even a penny in their uh, accounts, okay? So when the crisis happened, then, I'll admit some people are waiting, so I'll When crisis happened, they don't have any money, even, okay? And for that, they fell all in crisis and problems. Then they were given, after a few months, another envelope with their children uh, photos. So the envelope was printed with their children photos. And the second time, they started to collect the mo most of their income. Okay, so see, sometimes there are ways just changing the way itself. The envelope was given, which is, was a very good tool, but uh, it was not given with their photo of a photo of their children. See how much change we, uh, is happening. I think Dr. Adoni want to say something. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of our, my best way. Can, I can tell you there are many ways, and you remember what the formula I used it here. I'm not sure if you have seen. I say always. Reability is the probability of availability. It means if you want to be reliable in your business, in your approach, in solving the problem, you have to be always available. Okay? The, the, the thing about uh, Paul's story, he was available for that problem. He lived that problem. He started to be very passionate about his problem. And actually, people follow him now in Assam, tell him we want to do the same project in, in our area. Okay? And this is what uh, you better stay with a limited number of women and you make from them success story, and you follow them strongly, better than you expand. Uh, we are very proud of, of one of, of our stories, which is maybe even stronger than Paul's story. It's an impact, I mean, real impact. Is that we eliminated the poverty, absolute poverty in a, uh, in a certain village in Mauritania. Okay? But now, because the follow-up is coming back, uh, not done like before, they are now becoming weaker, weaker, weaker. So even you can reach to a certain stage, it will drop once the follow-up is, is less. Okay. And okay. Maybe I yeah, okay. To, I to one, one thing. It's about always what Dr. Muhammad teach me, total people involvement. Within these women community, although you are the leader, make sure that you let one of these women also to be the team leader of this project. So then she will be also responsible for this follow-up. She will be like, as we say, on your hands that will help you. And then they are going to feel more responsible. She will do also the more nitty-gritty follow-ups. Okay. Um, uh, okay, uh, Robert, did we answer you? Or you have any other comments? Yeah. So the follow-up, you see this guy, I was talking about this guy of the, of the ambulance here, 
right? I'm not sure if you heard me, uh, which was in, uh, we did it in Ghana, okay? This guy that's uh, threatened about him, he's doing follow-up. For that, the community is more committed to him because he does the follow-up always, okay? And even he said some community members, they tried not to pay, okay? To get the service without paying. But the pressure of the other community members made them, made them pay. Okay. And the second thing we say always, anything you can't measure it, you can't improve it. So you need to have within this follow-up a measurement of this uh, follow-ups. Yes, this has improved, this has changed. Because what makes these women or people in poverty, it's they can't measure the things. So they don't know how to do things. Otherwise, they would have been an entrepreneurs and they would have gone by themselves and done, you know, been successful in their life. So you need within your follow-ups to have some measurements, numbers, so you can show them where is the improvement, where uh, is the decrease, where do you want to reach. So they know these measurements by themselves. This should be one yeah. of the main tools. And this is what That's you can help you. Yeah. Even in Mauritania's example, Dr. Mohammed was saying that we worked with a woman, they were fully uh, literacy, they didn't know anything. But the basic things we taught them was the mathematic things. The very basic mathematics I'm taking. So they have to do these uh, measurements. Okay. <coughs> open this, Issa, uh, or Khadija. Someone open this. Okay, so uh, thank you, Robert. What I can, we can help you just to conclude here. And we can help you to send you the forms that you can use. It's in English. And of course, you can use, or you can see also our books. We can give you electronically which you can read and they, they are all, all about tools and how to use the, such forms to the benefit of, the, uh, of, the, uh, of following up the community and ensuring that your volunteers, they do the same work. Because you can't go just ask people uh, what you have done, what are like this, or, you know, uh, ask them like you are investigating about them. No, you ask them as if you are a partner and you are trying to help them. This part of the, the attitude, the approach that you use is very important also. Okay, let's hear the last team here. Can we hear you? <coughs> yes. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Peter I'm very happy to be here. I'm an American in a single jump plot who is very attending physical class for the personal reason. Uh, our community issue uh, found in my village uh, is uh, undeveloped farming. Uh, in our village, there is a we have a physical physical resources such as infrastructures which can help us to support our product, our productivity to, to the market and we have natural resources uh, and those people can help uh, to give their productivity which community community where uh, is it here uh, uh no province northern province what? Musanze district no what's it called Musanze district oh, Musanze, yeah. Uh, Musanze. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes. We have land which which is a, yeah. and we have the infrastructure such as roads which can help us to transport our productivity mm -hmm. to the market. But mm -hmm. if you see the productivity compared with the capacity and effort of the people to the to cultivate, you see there is not equal. Uh, people cultivate and they, they make a low productivity to the market. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, my project, all of my advice that I, I wanted to develop is like training those people and improve the, the rate of productivity. So I don't know if they use it, they don't know how to use the, the fertilizers to improve their productivity. But if you see, uh, the, we have a large land, but if you see the productivity, the productivity from those land is smaller compared to the land. So we have those natural resources, physical resources, capacities, the people, but the productivity still is, is at a low rate. So, I have the people to do. And which products? General products or any, and what type of products you believe that you should focus on to improve the productivity and improve people's life? Yeah, uh, my product is, a, is a sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes? Yeah. Okay. okay, so thank you very much again. I'm not sure you are aware about the tiny project. Anyway, we'll link you with Thai project, okay? I want you to start from there. And we are interested by you. Yeah. And whatever you say. So what he's saying again, and uh, now we have the 
We have the human capital, but the human capital, what's the problem? Okay. First of all, what's the problem of Mosanzi? What is the issue of Mosanzi? It is fertile. This is an issue. If something is, is not well utilized, it is an issue, of, especially if there is what? Poverty, right? Yani Musanzi is a, not only a tourist area, it is very fertile, isn't it? Yes, yes. And uh, because of their weather, the weather always cold, Tropics. even their product type yes. is different than other products you can get from any other region. Okay? So yes. you get uh, products uh, different type, like for example, the sweet potato and so on. Okay? So the fertility of the land is not addressing the what this is the issue. Yes. Not addressing the poverty. Okay. Why they have poverty? Even though they are very fertile and so on. So he's saying one of the problems is that the people have no skills in or dealing with are not updated, let's say. They are using only traditional methods. Yeah. Yes. They are not using, you know, fertilizers or other techniques. Okay. You have uh, finished uh, from university or studying? I'm still studying. Studying what? Chemistry. Chemistry. Okay. So we have guys, uh, which you maybe will meet, uh, already they started projects in Mosanzi about the uh, Irish vegetation. Okay. Actually, this is our leading project. Okay. And we are capitalizing on this project to spread other projects, maybe in, even in Mosanzi. I wanted to clip with this guy, just by it. And uh, he said, we give you his number and contact and so on. Because for sure, whatever you said, all the same is what, uh, what uh, Tayyip said, right? He said about the low productivity, the land is good, but people are not trained, people are, are getting a type of uh, you know, malnutrition, right? Yes. Because they are not eating well, okay? Yes. And, and why you focus on the Irish potato? Because it will address this issue, okay? Yes. So that's, uh, that's uh, something. Okay, guys, I think I'll give you now a chance uh, for Paul to give you the feedback about the videos that uh, participate, uh, people participated in. Here we try to show them the video while Paul is there. <coughs> Go ahead, show the video directly and then... So take the participant videos, then we'll show your video. Yeah. First of all, thank you everyone for joining with us and uh, to the participants who joined this uh, competition and who send their videos and audio. Uh, the name is Nurse the Pacific. I'm from one of the members of the Visible Group, which is under the facilitation of FESI. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, talk about the social economic challenges facing the youth and uh, the solutions that you can get in order to address those problems. So the challenge uh, I've seen or the challenge that uh, I have uh, analyzed it is youth unemployment, whereby the youth unemployment by February 2023 in this year it is about 20.4%, which is not uh, good. Let's first say if an employment problem continues to occur, what, it, what impact it can uh, have to our society. Firstly, there can be increase of uh, poverty, increase of poverty which can even damage our society at uh, a big level. The second, it is the risk of depression. You know, when a person has no occupation, has nothing to, that is going to occupy him, he is going to think a lot of things. Or when he or she doesn't have income to support his activities, he's going to start thinking uh, in one way or the other. And even when he see people who are working, he's trying to uh, to, 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 to blame him or herself uh, in a way that it is going to cause him mental problems. Uh, thirdly, it increases the climate. You see, when you have no job, Satan is going to give you a job to do. For real, Satan gets people who are 
but have it, have no occupation, have not no, nothing to do. So when you are unemployed, unemployed, you have no nothing that is going to occupy you in throughout the day or throughout the the, the whole the whole period. So it's something critical that people as or youth as can an employment can affect to us. Uh, Increase in government expenditure or government spending. You see, when people are not working for the money, the government is going now to fund them in their living. And this, this one, you see, it is going to make the government. You see, the government is like a parent. When it sees that its people are not related income, it will see how those people are going to live. So after seeing those effects, main causes. What causes unemployment? You see, you can see what, what causes employment for real. Uh, I'm going to suggest the major thing that is causing unemployment and the solution that you can take. Uh, something that causes an unemployment is the outdated education system, which prepares young people basically for white color jobs. You see. People are now uh, studying. You see, the education in the past, for education in the past, people would study when they have, let's say, like 99% of the of the of the belief that they're going to get a job. But for now, people are studying even knowing that they're not going to get a job. This is due to scarce or soft and uh, practical skills. You see, there is a scarce of uh, soft and practical skills. There are soft skills and practical skills. But the soft skills, these are skills that are going to help you grab or grab an opportunity. Let's say communication skills, networking skills, and also leadership skills. That things that are going to help you grab opportunities. Well, as this, uh, Grab opportunities and they even have uh, and even rule people in that uh, section we want to be employed in. The second of the practical skills, it's the skills that are required at the labor market. Statistics have shown that um, people who graduate from the universities or people who are graduating from uh, secondary schools they have probably less practical skills whereby if you try to talk or to discuss with a person who is in the who is having a, a let's say a job he tells you that um telling you the the real fact that what you're studying here at the university or what you are studying at school is totally different from what you meet at the job market and that makes me to wonder uh, the importance of education. But education is very useful. It's very useful when we have uh, procedures or the strategies that we can match them to the labor market. Uh, there is a s solution that you can take for this problem. There is a project that I've put in place in order to. Uh, Address the solutions to this challenge. It's to organize seminars and events which are periodic, whereby the professionals, let's say the institutions, organizations, and even companies, meet the youth in order to connect them or to build a bridge between education and the labor market. Let's say uh, it is not to be placed in universities, no. It is to be placed in the society. Let's say they organize uh, an event at a certain venue in the city where every, every, each and every youth can gather, where the professionals, even successful people in business, meet with the young people such that they, they are such that the youth can be empowered 
the youth can be empowered in such way that after that those seminars the youth get uh, more uh, such that after the, the those seminars youth can get more conclus conclusions and uh, and uh, decisions to change their uh, to change their uh, personal living with the youth our Lord now it will be to be present in those events and take decisions because we can't wait for the opportunities to come and approach us but we are the ones to uh, chase or to stand out and knock on the doors of opportunities thank you very much for your consideration <clears throat> can i go to the second one yes Hello, my name is Noma Benjamin Jacob. I am a search that is refuge in Uganda. I am a co-founder, the operation and the progress manager for Android Social Enterprise Organization in the Vinocam Refugee Settlement. The following are the socioeconomic challenges facing my community. One is food insecurity, two is poverty. The solution I have looked at here is business skilling to the refugees through bus soap and liquid soap, making that can quickly raise for them money to improve their living standard by buying food and also buying other necessities which are essential for living. Thank you very much. It's very short and uh, What he said about what? It, what through what? Through they like um, give soaps. How they how they solve the social economic in their in community. The social Giving soap or creating soap. Yeah. They create soaps. So yeah. uh, soap manufacture. For the refugees, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I play this again? Yes. Hi, hello. Uh, music Carlo. Uh, the current Dhabi uh, uh, student chairperson. Uh, um, I am glad to receive the link and uh, uh, actually one of the socioeconomic uh, uh, issues that we face as the Dhabi University students, uh, that is the uh, when uh, students in Kenya uh, is actually a uh, finance. Uh, uh, however, I, I have yet received the link lately, but I also wish to uh, project our issues to your office as a matter of concern. Uh, uh, thank you, and uh, I would wish to maybe. Uh, uh, we granted this opportunity uh, where we can present our challenge as the DAFI team. Thank you. Last one. The last one. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Carbino Gepaidor. I am the founder of Community Hope Foundation, a community based organization found in Kenya. 
uh, talking of socio-economic challenges, among many of its challenges I will mention is uh, climate change. This is a great concern, uh, especially from the area I am, Takuma refugee camp in the northern Kenya. Uh, these places are prone to intense drought. Uh, climate change in this place poses a fundamental threat to people's livelihoods and uh, crop growth and water supplies. And I think the major solution is to put across advanced policies to fight climate change and eradicate it. For example, engaging with uh, businesses to reduce carbon emissions and combating deforestation while further while encouraging uh, planning of trees, among many others. Uh, thank you. Okay, so let me just comment on this one before Paul uh, give us the video. Uh, what do you think of the uh, of the first guy? At least it was clear. Okay, which is uh, Pacific. He attended our workshop before. Maybe you noticed him. And uh, compared to the other videos, okay, Pacific he presented what a solution. Yes, but is this a foreseeable solution? When you do events like this one now. Or we gather, let's say, hundreds of you, or we bring inspiring people to do like this and we go, and we leave them. What will happen? Most of the people, you might get, if you are very inspiring, you might get one or two, right? Yes. But these one or two, only they know the, the idea. They can't uh, be like Paul. Paul is not an idea guy. Paul has uh, now the expertise to do something from nothing, okay? And this is what we say in your role. So the Pacific idea is very good, and maybe we have, even we can sponsor that idea, and yeah, we'll discuss with the uh, uh, DJ and also Caradonia, which is very good. We can do it maybe quarterly or something like this, when you gather all yours and we can make a big uh, many story about it, we put it in a new picture. But this is only enthusiasm. Always we say enthusiasm is not enough. Knowledge is not enough, enthusiasm is not enough, only learning by doing is enough. So if you want to change, you have to do a project. If you want to create a change, you have to do a project. You can't tell people, go for education, why you're not studying Muhammad, you go and tell them like this. See, what is this guy? He's telling us, but we don't know our, how much we are suffering. Okay? But when you start something, and it's small, 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 it will grow big, and you are dedicated to it, and you follow it up, for sure it will make a difference in the people life. So whatever stories, even in the last one, with all the respect to him, and he wants us to change the policies. Do we have the power to change the policies? No. So we can I waste our time. We are not politicians. Even politicians, they don't change the policies easy. Let alone us. Okay? So let's do all we always do things with the early hanging fruits, the things that you can do. But only try to change your mindset by connecting things together. Seeing what is the problem, what are, what is the hidden opportunities from these assets that we have? So this is, I think, my comments on all these uh, videos, and I'd like to thank the guys who sent videos or audios, at least for a, a very quick competition, it's only three days ago. Yeah, we were not expecting a lot, but they wanted to see how people react to such competitions and so on. Okay, yes, Ali, please. You are now expert, whatever you say is more important than me even. Yes. Me yeah. also, uh, I was planning to compete, but uh, the challenge is I first, my phone was stolen before I selected the video. Mm. I was also prepared a, a, new, a new video, but my phone was stolen where I live before I selected the, the video. Okay, okay. So, you know, you could have sent also, but it's a good idea to have the, the audio, sometimes the audio I've seen, even though, some, because I think these people also they had the same problem. Maybe they didn't have enough data. So, okay. I, I was asking if I uh, can maybe get the chance to present it physically. You have it now? Yes, I can present it physically, it's possible. If yeah. you give me. Yes, oh, go ahead. Yes. Now? 
Okay, you can stand here and come and present. Yeah, thank you. Give him applause for Ali again. Okay, my maybe my my. Uh, it is about uh, give us. Can I read? Yes, yes, please. Pause. Okay. I would like to take uh, the doctor I have said uh, very interesting things. I wonder we have a proverb that says, uh, means that when the cow is going to take feeding around, they start to cut the grass around the home. Means that as we have to develop our neighborhood in around the university, before we go around, okay, we have to develop the people living near the, our university, we, we, near our, our CS. Uh, center before we go into Adam Sands in Yagatari, we have to develop our neighborhood now. So, uh, in the last week I was looking around in around the boy. There is there is a mass need of eggs. Okay, as youth, I have seen as opportunity what you can apply so that you can save the our community the eggs. I have proposed a project that is. Give us egg shop. Diverse egg shop. Yes. That's a project. Have the location. Chigali. Okay. So I uh, will have our products. First you have eggs, eggs selling and delivering. We have a shop, we are selling the eggs and deliver to the people in the restaurant, hotels, where they need that eggs. Second, you have fast food. That's why I have said give us fast food. That's the good eggs. We plan, the people will come and eat the fast food, something to check. We have the going in the meeting very fast. We can take fast food that is the cooked eggs. Also we have uh, the problem to overcome. The, as the youth, how the challenge that we are going to solve in the community, we have unemployment. For the unemployment we employ about two two persons Give him that better, better house, huh? Think another one. There. Two person to be the, our sellers in the shop. Seller. We have also the people to deliver to two year youth for delivery. We will deliver our eggs to the shop, to other shop, to other restaurant. Okay? Also we have to solve the problem or the challenge of small market to farmers. Can you explain this more? Yes, small Small market, yeah. Or low market, mm -hmm. low market for the farmers. Mm -hmm. So farmers, especially who are dealing with the poultry, poultry in the rural areas, due to uh, cultural belief that the people in the rural areas, they don't consume eggs eggs as the people from the, the city. So we can provide a market to those farmers who are living in rural areas where we can go and buy their eggs and come to deliver to the city, okay? Third, we have a malnourishment. Some children are suffering by pashoko. That is caused by the lack of, lack of proteins, so we can solve this problem of management. 
The opportunity as a youth, we can come in within this project is identifying opportunity. We have identifying problem. As I have mentioned some of the main problem, as a youth we identify the problem that we have to tackle in our community. Also another opportunity is provide solution. Solution to that community issue. Also, after identifying the problem, we suggest the solutions of creating diverse egg show. Okay? We have also problem development of development of community. Of community. As you have created that uh, egg shop, that so this diverse, diverse egg shop it will not be in one place. It's yes. located in different yes. places. Our uh, in the wrong land, we open the branch in another place. We train the people to join us so that we can expand our project. So we have also the development of community. Also, as you have said it, starting by our neighborhood, around our universities, around our CS location, also open the branch in a different location. So as, as concluding, we also have expansion of a project in wrong land. We will open the branch, we retain our youth to join us. Also, we are giving egg to Marish children. As in wrong land, we retire to donate a little eggs to the Marish children. Okay, as conclusion, so as a youth, I <coughs> think we can join our efforts, all, all our, that's applying our physical asset, our skills as human capital, and also natural, as natural resources as, the, uh, as mentioned the farmers who really grows that <coughs> who, who is dealing with fruity farming, they can supply to us the eggs. Thank you for your consideration, that's my. Okay. Project. Okay. 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 There is one of the interns, which is the program that was run by Paul and Lisa. Okay, I think let's conclude with uh, uh, Paul and then we'll discuss uh, later. I'll sit down with you, some of you. Like, uh, Sir, can I put them five slides before we go to the video? Go ahead. Okay. Well, first of all, everyone, so, uh, I'm very happy to show your responses and your feedback honestly and I'm very proud of you though you were one of the interns of our batch so if you are planning to install a project okay see for see you are getting an institution you are getting an organization who is willing to install projects it's about that how you're approaching okay if you have any plans to install a project in a community or in a village so let me briefly explain you about digital government system this is a village which one we adopted in 2019 through IIT okay I already mentioned you, let me go in very in a simple way. <coughs> so you can see this one. So this is made by local bamboos and you can saw straws. So it is a very sustainable hub and it's a uh, bamboo school. Okay? And it is also an example for sustainable tourism and for sustainable stuff. So we didn't use anything from any metal stick or any plastic stuff. So you can see this one. <coughs> This were the dropouts before, okay? So in our villages, in our community, we can see many dropouts because of poverty. They couldn't able to continue their schools, or they couldn't able to continue their business, or any education stuff because of poverty. So because of poverty, they, what they used to do, they migrate to some other places to get job and all, which I have already mentioned and explained about the migration problem, okay? So if you want to start, or if you want to install any socio-economic development projects in our respective villages, then you can teach us, you can approach us, okay? So you can see this is the this is a real project. We already, we already, you know, we already installed. They already dropped us before, now they are making these furnitures from bamboo. And bamboo is what we're talking about, is about minimal resources, which is abundantly available in your places. So you know better than me that what is available in your places, from where you can start your projects. And from where you can convert the, your friends to entrepreneurs or to leaders. So you can see the entire setup of the bamboo industry. See how they used to do the treatment of bamboos. Then from treating the bamboos, 
That means one of the unknown project. A woman apartment, which I already explained to you, right? Why woman apartment is important, why you apartment is important. So these are the real projects of IIP. The camps. So this is a startup which Dr. Goizy explained to you about, okay? This is a part of the startup which we are selling the products, reverse quarters, okay? <coughs> So you can see the products here. Okay, they are our customers who bought the products from us. You can see Mercedes. Okay, it's one of the um, you know about Mercedes, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Mercedes from India, they bought us around more than forty-five pieces of this one. This is called an uh, ancient amphitheater, okay, of India. So they like to buy this one to give people or to their delegates. Mercedes bought from us, then different people from you can see government officials bought the furniture from us, and the celebrities of from Assam and India they bought from us. And this is useful for officers, I like to think of like the flashes for people who makes more money. Yes. Because it's in new. So along with the flashes and stuff. So if you have any plans that you can work on, see. If you see, it's a very simple project, okay? All you need to do is make up your mind, okay? You don't need to worry about the project. You first make up your mind, you first clear your goals, what you want to do, and then solve the project. It's a very simple project. All you need, all you need to do, first do some research, okay? Go through your, uh, the assets and minimal resources, and then we can work together. Maybe, I think Ali is interested to start a project very soon, right? And this is your responsibility also. I think you know about what you feel like being through all the assignments from the different batch. Okay, you can see that now they are the, all the artisans, they are all social entrepreneurs. They used to make these gifts from their houses. Okay? They used to work in our industry now as a part time because they already passed out from the workshop and training. Now they are the part time artisans of our industry and also social entrepreneurs who used to make these this stuffs and sell us. And what we do, we as a weavers for this, which is a startup under IIT and also known as under CS, we sell the products and then after selling it, we are helping them to raise their profit margin. Buy weavers for this through IIT. So see how inspiring this is from a small village, a very remote village. We have no idea is maybe a Doctor, who has been to that village? It's a, it's almost like an African village. No electricity, no proper road transportation, nothing. But these people, they believed us, they trust us, they keep their faith on us, and we also keep faith on them. And we work together. Now, from starting from zero, from scratch, now we are here. You can see, these are the picture. You can see those. This one, woman important project where we give them the workshop of silk and handloom. From training them to bamboo, this is see. You can see this is one of the top show in India that we've been to. We we've been there. We gave lectures in the talk show. We share our projects. We share our experience. We share our journey. Okay. So keep it very simple. It's nothing. A very hard work. Thank you. First of all, so if you really want to do projects, do it. Okay. We are there to support you, guide you. We support you financially and uh, also the advices, the guidances, okay? So let me go to uh, one of the video, which our team, let me show you the team. This is the team, our team, okay? The Indian team of IIT. We recently recorded a song, a theme song, and to promote the village, we actually uh, make a video. So let me show you the video. It's for the tourism, okay? It's becoming an eco village. Yes, it's an eco village. So from Bamboo, uh, the village, the whole village became like a tourist area. Those, those are our members.
can see the video, but let me explain something. This is the video which uh, relays which we adopted. Okay, the entire video made by our team. Okay, the bamboo team and the handloom team of IIT. <laughs> Human capital? Human capital. Physical resources. Physical resources. Physical resources. And social. Social resources. Historical resources. Yes. So he's putting all the resources in this video. Yeah. So I'm sure that Paul explained to the producer what he wants in this video. Because now he's marketing not only a product, Bambo, he's marketing the whole village. So the poverty tend to be an opportunity. Yes? Because yeah. many people, they gone already popular people. He brought many times uh, popular people to this village. He had many videos. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, 
Ngồi ra hỏi You can see the houses and roads, it's very remote this place, it's more like an African village is. You can see the houses, see? It's made from the mud and bamboo. You can see the conditions of houses. Okay, so this is the, our bamboo industry. ดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูดูด
okay so now i am concluding this and uh, thanks for coming and uh, attending the workshop and it's a very heat and heat of the moment that we youth really must to implement social economic development projects to help us to help our community and to grow together and to sustain the community so hopefully after the workshop we'll see that you people are coming with some projects and we'll be very happy and very grateful and very glad that we can tie up and we can collaborate and we can start a project thank you so much thanks thanks a lot thank, thank you, you very much. a lot guys and uh, as i said we need to sit down now with the guys who have uh, suggested the, their projects to see how we can uh, uh, you know, tell you what is we require to start about okay. the certain requirements so i think we'll, we'll meet in the library for Elisa, Khadija, so if you want to join or you want to prepare the, the meeting room i think the meeting room meeting room okay. there you go the most safe meeting room. So we'll meet with Hamid first, and then Ali, and then uh, we'll take our friend there first. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, do you have any comments there, guys, from uh, Kenya or Uganda? And also, if you have a suggestion for a project, send it through Zoom or through WhatsApp to uh, uh, Herwa. And we'd <coughs> like to thank Herwa. She's uh, trying her best to bring you in. And the one time we hope to see you here and uh, see us in Kigali, hopefully. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, let's go to this there, Ahmed. To library or to this one? Take it to this one here. This one? This three water. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you uh, take photo when you drink it. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys.